Thank you. Four minutes, four tips. Don't imagine that one tip will be one minute. The first one <coughs> is Enum Power. As, as told you by Dimitri uh, earlier, Swift has many, many power, and Enum is one, one of them. This was Enum, like a simple enumeration list. The new Enum is more than that. This is Enum. Now you can do many, many more. And it will allow you more state consistency. Look at that. Everybody knows this kind of code. And this is very bad. Why? Because every time you add a constraint, a new Boolean you depend on, you will, you will add many, many more side effects. And you don't want that. So, Enum brings you state consistency. You see, you can do many, many more than just number. And I will show you why Enum is many better than Boolean in this case. So, I don't know if you see this well, but you can add associated values to Enum. And with that, you can do many things and you can't cross, you can't cross anymore your state consistency. So one state equal one associated values, and you can add many more. So we will. And a bonus with Enum is um, you can add like uh, pattern matching with just where request in your switch statements. So. The second tip is the struct versus class. You have to know that struct is like up to 50 times faster than the classes because it's on the heap and not on the stack. But you have to see the syntax is basically the same, except that you have free init, free constructor, and you can add class attributes but strict i passed by, by values and not by reference. And you can't do object-oriented oriented object programmation with struct. You can't subclass extends. You can't do anything. Just uh, implement protocols. The third is to struct your constants. Just a quick tip. This was the classic way. This is the better way, and this is the best way. You can do this, and you can say goodbye to Objective-C's ugly constants. Victory. <laughs> the last tip is to use the let keyword. But sometimes you can't, because you have to do if. But you know you won't change the y variable here anymore. You can just execute a function in line, an anonymous function, to attribute a value to a let keyword here. Okay. So, thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>